Okay, just cut. Fra okay, just cut. Okay, just cut. Take five. Okay, just cut. Okay, just cut. Take five. It's been ages since I've done a trampane. So this is White Star, refreshing cider. Big value. And we can't remember how much we paid for it or where we got it from. Um, all I can tell you, it's a 7.5 White Cider. Um, Isn't it out of date as well? Didn't we say it was out of date? Oh, it, this video gets even... The, oh, it just keeps on giving. It is... Yeah, it's a month out of date. Like that's going to affect the flavour. Okay, so it is imported by IDI Limited, uh, produced in the EU for Brookfield Drinks Limited. Apple cider with sugars and sweeteners. It has got everything a good trampane should have. <sighs> so... I know I'm being completely disrespectful. It could be the actual, you know, the very paragon of, of, of perfection. Um, but I started doing the sort of very strong white uh, trash ciders uh, because I just wanted to know what they tasted like. I think we've all seen things and go, ooh, I don't know, a load of rubbish that, but what does it actually taste like? Uh, and I've had a couple of surprises. Okay, the majority have been rubbish, but there have been one or two surprises. I am waffling. Let's get this open and let's give it a go. Oh my God. I think for these, I ought to get like a little miniature park bench to put on the table. Okay. Or get a brown paper bag to put it in. Yeah. So, you know, I read all the comments that everybody posts and some people sort of say, oh, it's just meant to get you trashed. Well, you know, it will do. But if you want to get trolley, there are better drinks. You'd be better off buying, you know, a little quart of uh, vodka and that would uh, do you probably less harm. Okay, I am waffling. So we have a crystal white. It does what it says on the tin. Very pale. Very pale. A little bit of carbonation rising up, as you'd expect from a fizzy cider. There's an aroma of burnt plastic. Uh, Aston Manor. <laughs> yeah, they've really marketed that. Um, Aston Manor uh, producers of Frosty Jacks and other... Trampanes. Yes, <laughs> but they also do uh, Friel cider. Yeah, which is Which is good. fantastic. You know, it is, you've got this, you know, trash that they produce. And, you know, Friel Cider, if you've tried that, that I'll put a link, uh, that's half decent. And taste the difference, cloudy cider from Sainsbury's. Yeah, they that do. That awful. Yeah, but, you know, considering they produce Frosty Jack, for them yeah. to get a gig in, in uh, Sainsbury's, although it was rubbish. Again, burnt plastic. Yeah. It's a little faint bit of apples, but on the roll, on the on on the roll, on the roll, on the whole. You haven't had any. Yet. No, I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> Plastic. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> so there's a sourness there. And I know it's a month out of date, but a weird biscuit finish. Oh. Perhaps they're going for something different. This is so wrong. I was going to say, oh, that's a nice sourness. I was expecting something sweet, but... There's a bready biscuit finish. This is wrong. Does it taste like it's seven and a half percent? No, you could get this down. If that was sweeter, you'd sink it. It's that weird finish. Nasty. Very nasty. And a white star. 
I see a white star line, should be on the bottom of the ocean with the bloody Titanic. You're not going to sink this one. Uh, okay. <sighs> it is what it is. If you wanted to get uh, smashed, this is going to do it. But there are other drinks which are... Even Frosty Jack, by the sounds of it, sounds better than that. Yes, that, yeah. Yeah, there you go. The cider that made Frosty Jack taste half decent. And on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. Cheers.